MSI South Africa was incredibly diligent to get one of their new model notebooks to me just as the mobile Pascal announcement was made by NVIDIA. I already made a video documenting just how close the GTX 1060 that's in this notebook compares to a desktop counterpart, which you can check out here. After spending some more time with the GE62VR6RF Apache Pro, I'm now back with a full review. Let's just say that the GPU isn't the only impressive thing about this notebook. The GE62VR sports the aforementioned GTX 1060 as its GPU with a full 6GB of GDDR5 VRAM, but also includes the Intel Core i7-6700HQ as its processor, 16GB of DDR4 RAM in two sodium slots, a 256GB NVMe SSD capable of up to a whopping 2GB per second read and up to 1GB per second write speeds, a 1TB 7200RPM storage drive, 802.11 AC Wi-Fi up to 433 megabits per second and Bluetooth 4.1. The GE62 VR is the 15.6 inch display version of the Apache Pro lineup with my review model having the 1080p IPS panel, but it can also come with a 4K screen. My review sample had limited backlight bleed and the panel itself can tilt back to roughly 135 degrees. For I.O. you have the Kensington Lock, Killer Gigabit Ethernet port, dual USB 3.0 ports, HDMI, Mini Display port, USB 3.1 Type-C, and mic in and headphone out ports on the left. Although note the Type-C is not stated as being Thunderbolt compatible. On the right there's the DVD drive, USB 2.0 port, SD card reader, and power in. The SteelSeries keyboard is as solid as I would expect and is still one of my favorite notebook keyboards with a solid tactile typing experience. This is combined with the brilliantly illuminated 3-zone RGB lighting with the keycaps having translucent bottom portions. Overall, MSI still puts out the top overall notebook keyboard, in my opinion. The touchpad is textured similarly to the rest of the chassis with a brushed metal look and feel. Personally, I enjoy it, but I've received some comments from my previous Apache Pro video that indicate that it's not for everyone. MSI includes some dedicated buttons at the top of the notebook that serve to set the dual fans to 100% or change the lighting setting of the SteelSeries keyboard. The Dynaudio 4.1 speaker setup is fantastic with it being crisp and clear at all volume levels, and the subwoofer provides a decent punch for whatever music genre you want to listen to. MSI continues to show up pretty well here. The 720p 30fps webcam is of decent quality, nothing exceptional, however the microphone setup is surprisingly good for a gaming notebook, being incredibly clear, although a little bit soft in volume. The battery life? It's middle of the road with it hitting 1 hour and 15 minutes in PC Mark 8's battery life test on high performance mode with nearly max brightness. Performance wise, MSI's decision to rebrand their notebooks by slapping a VR on the end is apt. You can check out my previously mentioned video to see the full benchmark numbers, but suffice it to say that these notebooks are definitely VR ready. It was literally as simple as plugging in the USB and HDMI connectors from the HTC Vive, and then it was good to go. No frills, no fuss, just a simple, more portable VR experience. If a VR game can run on a desktop GTX 1060, it can run on this notebook. Okay, okay, I'll talk about the heat output. It's a question that has been incessant in the comments since I published my other videos on the GE62 VR. How does the new model of the Apache Pro deal with the heat output? I noted this issue on my GE72 review some months back that one of the major flaws is that the heat sinks of the notebook dissipate their heat through the keyboard and create an uncomfortable long-term gaming experience. MSI claims better cooling performance with their 6 heat pipe dual fan cooler boost 4 setup. And for the most part, it is noticeably better. The GPU nor the CPU were thermal limited in all of my testing on the stock fan profile, and as far as the heat dissipating through the keyboard, it was roughly 7 or 8 degrees Celsius cooler on the WASD keys than on my GE72, and 4 degrees cooler overall with the max keyboard temp being roughly 41.5 degrees at the center of the keyboard. It's still not the best setup, but it's no longer as difficult to play games for hours on end with this notebook. MSI took everything that was great about their previous Apache Pro notebook models and simply improved on them here. 
The GTX 1060 in the notebook is perfect for any gaming you want to do on the 1080p display, even at maxed out detail settings. The NVMe SSD is blisteringly fast. The SteelSeries keyboard is superb. The cooling issues were addressed. The Dyn Audio speaker setup is better than most other notebooks that I've tested. And it all shows up in a fantastically designed package. I very much continue to be impressed with how MSI approaches their notebooks. They simply don't skimp on anything. The entire experience of the Apache Pro is nearly perfect. I personally would prefer a one finger hinge lift design that you can find from other notebook manufacturers, but then I'm just being finicky. There was a slight price increase from the previous models, but honestly the GTX 1060 more than justifies the $1600 US or 32,000 Rand price tag. MSI has absolutely delivered here with the GE62 VR. And with that conclusion, I'd like to again thank MSI South Africa for sending the GE62 VR6RF over for review. Like this video if you found it helpful at all, dislike it if you disagree with me or my conclusions. You can subscribe to stay up to date on all of my tech related content. And if you're still watching at this point in the video, leave a comment down below with the phrase finicky. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.